Mm -hmm. They can call it what they want, but it is what it is. This is the good news channel. This is the high vibrational channel with a high vibrational beam where every possibility exists, okay? Over here, we make the impossible possible real quick. If you're watching this video, if you're watching this video, consider yourself blessed because you are. You being blessed and this video are two totally different things. If you're watching this video, consider yourself very special, okay? Because this video is being created for someone special just like you. You found it. And there is an overflow of abundance heading your way. There is an overflow of abundance heading your way. So allow, allow the universal river of abundance to run naturally forward. But first things first, take you anyway. My story begins with God, because gratitude is all I got. My day begins and ends with gratitude, because gratitude is the attitude, gratitude is the key. When you begin by being grateful, you will end up feeling blessed in the same sentence, without hesitation, without stress. And the difference the difference between feeling stressed and feeling blessed is that when you're stressed, you're complaining. When you're blessed, you're appreciating. Your life, the greatest gift you can receive, the greatest gift you can receive, these are facts, okay? The greatest gift you can receive is another day of life. And you got it. So when you walk into your day, when you walk into your day knowing that, that the greatest gift that you could receive, you already got it, Everything that comes your way is a blessing, my friend. Everything that comes your way is a miracle because you are realizing, you are acknowledging that the most important thing that you could got, you got it, which is you, all right? Now, from that place, you can choose to complain or to appreciate, right? And life is all about appreciation. Life is all about appreciation. Gratitude is love and love is appreciation and appreciation is manifestation. That's where you wanna be, okay? That's where you wanna be. Because you can only create, you can only inspire others from a place of love. You can only create from a place of love because love is creative energy. Love is healing energy. Love is, you name it, energy. It, love does it all. Love conquers all. Love always wins. Love still undefeated since the beginning of time. And it will be on the field until eternity's end. Do me a favor, do me a favor, do me a favor. Tell everybody around you, tell everybody around you that an electric or storm is heading your way, okay? But first, first, first. I think it's time to turn on the music. I think it's time to turn on the light. Cause you're free to do what you want to do. Cause you're free if you're standing in your truth. It's another day and we're still here. It's another day and we're still here, hanging out in nature and living without fear. It's another day and we're still here. The sun is doing what? The sun is decalcifying my pineal gland so I can see clear. The sun, 
the giver of life, the one that makes everything bright, always has a message for you. So face the sun. If you want to know what's going on, follow the cycles of the moon and you're always going to be in tune. Face the sun. Face the light. And everything's gonna be all right, okay? If you've been doing it right, if you've been doing it right, your future is bright. If you've been doing it wrong, what's going on? It is never too late to do something great. It is never too late to do something great because every moment, this moment, like every other moment, is a great moment if you know what to do with it. Each and every moment, in the present moment, you can always fertilize the ground for renewal and transformation. In the present moment, you can always fertilize the ground for renewal and transformation. So be a peaceful who you are right now, right now. Be a peaceful, be a peaceful who you are right now, and everything else will fall into place. Tell everybody around you that an electrical storm is heading your way, okay? Because you, yeah, you, you are now connected. You are now connected. You are now connected, right? To the high, to the high, to the high vibrational frequencies, to the high vibrational frequencies of electric movement zero, expanding your version of reality with high vibrational thoughts, high vibrational thoughts, high vibrational feelings, High vibrational feelings and high vibrational what? And high vibrational interaction. We're here. You know, lighting the way, lighting the way for generations to follow with clearing tensions, clearing tensions and elevated heart emotions. That's all it takes. Clearing tensions and elevated heart emotions. That's how you create with your thoughts and feelings. Make yourself better so you can make somebody else better and the world a better place. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I really hope you have a smile on your face right now. I really hope you're feeling blessed because you are. If you're alive, you're blessed. The greatest gift you can receive is another day of life. Now, it's up to you to appreciate it or not, okay? No, nobody's doing anything to you because you always have the upper hand, okay? You're an alchemist. You can always make the best out of the worst, always. And if you can remain positive in a negative situation, you will always win because everything is constantly changing, okay? Just hang in there, okay? But hang in there with a smile on your face, right? Hang in there with a smile on your face. Ha hang in there positive because Everything is working in your favor. Absolutely everything is. Stop tripping. You're not only blessed, you're unique at the same time, you're, and you're also infinite, okay? Not even identical twins have identical fingerprints. You are unique and perfect just the way you are, okay? You will never be perfect, nobody is. You will never be perfect, but you can always be real, okay? You can always be real. And true value, true value is internal, okay? True value is internal. How you see yourself and how you see the world, that is your reality. The rest doesn't matter, okay? The rest doesn't matter because there is no such a thing as matter. There is no such a thing as matter, okay? Everything is any vibrating in a different frequency. There is no such a thing as matter. There is only awareness, so... Where you focus your awareness, that's the only thing that matters. There is no such a thing as matter. Those are facts. Because nothing is, nothing, nothing is fixed. Everything is vibrating, right? This crystal, this is alive. This is vibrating, right? There is no such a thing as matter. There is only awareness, consciousness. So when you focus your awareness, your energy, that's the only thing that matters. Focus your attention on the thing that really matters. Focus on your blessings, focus on your talents, focus on your, focus on your abilities, and you will see them, my friend, you will see them, okay? 
you will see them. The treasure is hidden within you. You just gotta bring it out, okay? You just gotta bring it out. If you wanna jump higher, you gotta squat lower. The deeper you go within, the higher you go without because your reality, what you're seeing right now, is nothing but a projection of your, of your, of your mind. When you go to a theater, you're looking at the screen, right? But the projection is coming from back there. Exactly. This is this is this is the this is the screen in the movie theater, right? What you're looking at? But that but but but, but, <laughs> but it's coming from your mind. It, it's coming from your vision. Okay, your vision creates your reality. Your vision. We are chosen star seeds by the creator of the universe who decided to rank a name this planet at this particular time to what are we doing over here? Creating new avenues of consciousness for the planet, creating new avenues of consciousness for the planet and raising the vibrational frequency of the planet, raising the vibrational frequency of the planet, raising the vibrational frequency of the planet. That's exactly what we're doing here, okay? That, that is exactly what you signed up for. You are experiencing the reality that you're experiencing right now because you chose to, okay? Either you're aware or, or unaware. This is what your soul wanted to do, right? This is why you, you, you are here to experience this transition that we are undergoing. There is a massive, massive energy shift taking place in the whole entire planet right now, in the whole entire universe, okay? There is a massive, massive shift, energetic shift, okay? The light of the sun is different. Remember, everything is constantly changing. And when, I'm, and when I say everything is constantly changing, I'm talking about the light of the sun. Everything is, nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. You are not the same person you were yesterday because your cells are constantly regenerating. Nothing is. Everything is constantly changing. And there are no accidents or coincidences in this universe. Everything happens in divine time, in divine order. So when you know that, when you know that truth, when you, real, when you realize that truth from within yourself, well, you start paying attention to the signs because you know that there are no mistakes. Nothing is random. You're not watching this by accident. No, 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 no. There, there is no such a thing. There is no such a thing. That's why you gotta believe, okay? Believe, believe, believe in yourself. Believe in what you're doing, because by you believing, you are creating that reality. That's all it takes. You don't need anybody to believe in you. The only one that you need to believe in yourself is yourself. Believe in yourself. Trust the universe. And keep the faith alive, right? Because if faith got you here, faith is going to take you there. So far, you have, over you have overcome everything that life has put you through, right? Look at the past and, and, and instead of judging yourself for everything that you didn't know, appreciate yourself for everything that you overcame. Come on. Always speak highly of yourself, okay? Always speak highly of yourself. If people, if people talk trash about you, that's none of your business. You didn't come here to do all other people's thinking. You came here to keep it real to yourself, all right? You came here to keep it real to yourself because that's the only thing you can control. That's the only thing you, you, you feel me? The more we value things outside of our control, the less control we have. Because if, 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 if I start valuing things outside of my control, that means that my, my energy is all over the place, right? And your energy should be in here, in your temple, right? This is your, your avatar, right? So you gotta learn how to anchor your energy in your, in your body, right? So stop giving your attention to people, places, and things that lower your vibration. Stay up here in the penthouse with me, with your own key, your own elevator on top of the world, okay? On top of the world. The love frequency, you are untouchable in the, in, in the love frequency, okay? And you see, when you, when you realize who you truly are, you become untouchable. Listen, when you realize who you truly are, you become untouchable because who you truly are is untangible. Who you truly are is untangible. Your essence, your soul, cannot be trapped. You're limitless, okay? You're a, limit, you're, a lim, you're a limitless magical being 
multidimensional being having a human experience. You're a light being full of love. And that's a lot of heat. Add some water to the radiator before you overheat. You are a walking pyramid, okay? Sunlight and water, all right? That's who you are. You are the elements of nature. You are the elements of nature, right? You are an extension of nature because everything is interconnected. How is everything inter interconnected? The spirit, okay, the space, the ether of space, there is life in here. You, we cannot see it, but there is life in here. This is, this, is a, this is an ocean of awareness, okay? And you are literally swimming in information because everything is energy and energy is information. So when you surround yourself with organic information, well, you have organic thoughts, organ, organic feelings, organic interactions, organic results, you know, organic. Organic, huh? Organic. So, today, today is going to be a great day. Can you feel it? Today uh, is 1-11, 1-11-2023, okay? 1-11-2023. And 1-11, that creates a portal, okay? That creates an energetic portal, remember. That creates an energetic portal, okay? We're not going to it. Uh, so, 1 11 2023. If we add those numbers together, we get the number 10, right? Which is all about completion, perfection, uh, 10 of pentacles, okay? Material wealth, 10 of cups, emotional fulfillment, number 10, okay? Uh, also, as also associated with Capricorn, which is the sign that we're in, which is all about achievement, recognition. Uh, so okay, there is an energetic portal right now, okay, and I'm gonna give you the astrology reading, I right, and tell you kind of how everything works because you see we're living in times where it's not enough to know. You gotta know how because when you know how things when you know how things work, they work even better. Okay, when you know how things work, how things work, they work even better. And everything is energy vibrating at a different frequency. What happens in the macrocosm is exactly what's happened down here. As above, so below. You are a fractal of the universe, all right? So if you can understand what's going on up there, you know exactly what to do in here. You got to look at the cosmic view so you can see the big picture and then you work on the details, all right? So let's do that. Let's look at the cosmic view. And the cosmic view is no other than what? The love frequency, because from a place of love, there is no judgment. You're not judging anything, right? You're the referee, you, you, you're just observing the game, right? You don't want anybody to win, you're just observing the whole thing. <laughs> uh huh. We didn't come here, we didn't come here to compete with one another or to compare with one another. We came here to complement each other, okay? And that is exactly what we're gonna do, because we rise by lifting others, okay? Together we can make it happen, baby. Together we can make it happen. It's all about us. It's all about one planet, one human race. Separation is an illusion, okay? We need to overcome that bullshit, all right? We are all one, okay? We are all one. Well, when we are vibrating to the same frequency and we come together as one, great things happen, right? And that's exactly what was what, what's, what's taking place. Worldwide, universal. All right, so the sun is up there, you know, doing his thing, shining and stuff. The sun is in, a sign, in, is in the sign of Capricorn, which is an earth sign. The moon is in the sign of Virgo, which is also an earth sign. Now, the first thing that I want to bring into your awareness, and we're going to move from there, is the first aspect. Remember, the solar system, you are traveling through time inside of a planet, that is part of a solar system. And the solar system is traveling through the galaxy. Everything is moving, right? Wars within wars. Like an onion, layers within layers. That is exactly what's taking place. You are traveling through space inside of a planet that is also rotating inside of a solar system that is traveling through the galaxy, right? Uh-huh, like that. So the sun is in a sextile, 60 degree angle, 
with Neptune, okay? And Neptune is the universal ocean of awareness. Neptune is everything that everything that everything that you cannot see. The the, the unconscious, okay? So when the sun is in a sextile with Neptune, there is a light, the light of the sun shining onto the world of imagination and spirituality. That's what Neptune represents, imagination and spirituality, because your imagination, you cannot see it, but but you can bring it into reality, right? I, I'm, you see, I use my imagination to, you use your imagination to look into the unseen. Your imagination is a powerful gift from the creator. It's the ability to see the unseen and bring it into reality. And everything you can imagine is real. Everything you can imagine is real. Absolutely everything is. So there is a light shining into the world of imagination and spirituality. So a day like today, especially with the 111 portal, the connection to the heavens is enhanced, okay? The connection to the heaven is enhanced. And I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, the sun, Uranus, and the moon, right? Let me see. The sun, the sun, Uranus, and the moon are all making a trine, okay? Which is a triangle, a 100, 120 degree angle. A circumference is 360. So a trine will be 120, right? Now the sun is in a trine, which is a very harmonious aspect within the celestial bodies, okay? Because, because you're in, every time there is a trine, it means that the celestial bodies, the planets are in the same element. Uranus is in Taurus, Earth sign. The moon is in Virgo, Earth sign. The sun is in Capricorn, Earth sign. So all those energies are being anchored by the planet, okay? Because they, they, are, they are working under the same element, okay? Big deal. That is why we feel the connection so strong because the Earth is, is anchoring all those energies. And the sun represents your higher self, right? The moon is your, your true self, your emotions, and Uranus is the planet of innovation, revolution, freedom, okay? Uranus rules astrology, technology. So there's a lot of changes taking place. There is a massive shift taking place energetically, okay? And Uranus has to do a lot with it because Uranus is associated with the, with the age of Aquarius, okay? And Everything that I just said, everything that I, that I just said is, is supported by another trine between Venus and Mars, okay? If it wasn't enough that everything is working out in your favor, now everything is being backed up by the energies of Mars and Venus, which are yin yang, passion, determination, energy. On the other side, Venus, the goddess of love, pleasure, all the good things in life, right? Merging together. So we can all, you know, take this to another level because that is exactly what we're doing, okay? That is exactly what we're doing. The lie already won is the most powerful statement you can always make. The lie already won because when you say the lie already won, you are thinking holographic, you are thinking collectively, okay? And when you look at things from, from, from a higher perspective, you never suffer because you detach, yourself, you detach yourself from the picture. In order for you to see the whole picture, you need to get out of the picture, right? For, in order for you to take a picture, you need to get out of the picture and then you see the whole picture. And the whole picture looks beautiful, right? The whole picture looks beautiful. The whole, looking, at the, looking at the big picture is looking at the game from the coach perspective. The, the coach is looking at the game from outside of the game, right? The player is, is, is looking at the game from within the game. So you gotta be able to play the player and the coach so you can see both realities. Uh-huh. Because you are a multidimensional being having a human experience, which means that you are existing in multiple realities. You, you got eyes everywhere, okay? Because you are everything and everything is you. Love connects you to everything there is, 
ok, love is the connection, love is the connection, love is an, uni love is an universal language, love is all you need, because love is who you are, when you love what you have, you got everything you need, because love is who you are, ok, everything else is you thinking you're something else, nah, you are greatness, because greatness made you, ok, so, great day to connect with your higher self, okay? Bringing heaven on earth simply means you acquiring knowledge of your higher self and that is exactly what, that is exactly what's taking place. You are getting to know your galactic self, okay? Bringing heaven on earth me means that you have awareness of what's taking place in the heavens. So if you have awareness awareness of what's taking place up there and in here, well, you are connecting both worlds. Fifth dimensional thing, huh? You know what I mean? That is exactly what's taking place. So try to spend as much time outside as possible. Try to drink a lot of water. Eat, eat a lot of fruits, seeds, vegetables. Just take care of yourself. Spend time outside, okay? Spend time outside so you can feel the energies, right? Put your phone on airplane mode so you can fly. Put your phone on airplane mode so you can fly. Because you are the technology. You are the real technology, okay? You are the real technology. Love and appreciate yourself. And it's gonna be easy for you to love and appreciate other people because you realize that we are all one. We are all the same, right? Together we can make it happen. Together we're making it happen. There is a love revolution in the horizon. Peace is being restored on the planet. And you are living in the mass. How can I, I, I can even find a word for it. The most exciting times. These are the most exciting times to be alive because we are experiencing a fall of a civilization and a rising of another, right? So, Stay free, value your freedom, okay? Value your time and value your energy. Trust whatever is unfolding in your life right now. Whatever it is that you're going through, you will overcome it because you always have the upper hand. You can choose how to feel, okay? Don't project negativity onto it. Project positivity, stay positive, and, and it will pass. It will pass. In order, in order for you to get out of a negative situation, you need to, you need a positive mindset. That is the only way. So why be negative to begin with? Makes no sense, right? It makes no sense. Worrying has never solved anybody's problems yet. So instead of worrying, imagine. Imagine the best possible outcome and it will manifest, okay? I expect the best, so the best happens. Just hope for the best and the best will manifest. Manifest yourself. Put yourself in a good mood and you'll be taking care of business because you're that good. You got this. Your heart is golden. Your mind is brilliant. Like the sun. And your soul is pure. Peace.